this is Red Noxious, and today I'm going to, uh, to show you how to install Black Arc uh, as a virtual machine on either VirtualBox or VMware. It's pretty much identical the way you have to install them. So uh, just boot up your uh, virtual um, your VMware workstation and just press create a new virtual machine. Once you've done that, select the second option. I'm sorry if it's, uh, if it's in French. It's simply because my PC is in French. You just want to browse for the ISO if you have it. If you don't, links provided in the description. And uh, just press next. Uh, go to here. Some people might get uh, confused. Um, just select Linux. Other Linux 2.4. That's what I chose. That's what works. So I'm going to stick with that. Just This is going to be your name uh, of your virtual machine. Just call it whatever you want. This is the destination of where it's going to be, the location. So this is where all the data and stuff goes, the files, if I'm correct. So next, this is your the size um, of your um, virtual machine. You can put 20, 30. It all depends on what you're using it for. I'm just going to keep it eight, and press the, sec the second option. Next, finish. But hold on, do not fire up the VMware. Uh, the virtual machine yet. Just go to edit virtual machine settings and I use 5 gigs of RAM but those who have 64 gigs of RAM you can go above 5 it all depends on what you're using it for but I feel more comfortable with 5 gigs of RAM but I think at least 2 or 1 gigs of RAM is needed to be able to run this if uh, it's not true feel free to correct me in the comments below. So I'm putting 5 just to be sure so press OK and play the virtual machine so it's just going to be boot up with the you, you're going to have this um, booter boot machine thing screen uh, just press boot black, uh, black, Arc's Lin black arc linux sorry just press enter on it and it's going to start booting up and for those who don't know black arc linux is basically kelly linux and backtrack all assembled together with way more tools and it has more advanced tools from what I've seen. So I've never really used it, but I'm thinking of actually using it to do pen testing and stuff like that. So yeah. All right. So once uh, you boot up, you'll be prompted on this screen. The username is very simple as usual. Root pretty much on any, pretty much any virtual machine or just Linux PCs. Root. Just press enter, and the password is Black Arc. So those who have a Azerty keyboard, watch out because the Q will be in A and everything, everything is going to be inversed. So be sure to check that out. So the password is Black Arc, press enter, and it's going to boot you inside Black Arc. So there you go, this is Black Arc. You can, you know, right click, go to the browsers, Firefox, whatever, if it would decide to be open. Right, there you go. I don't even know if, th if I have internet on it yet. No, I don't. Close tabs. All right. So you can right click, go to go to Black Arc, and you can choose. You got a wide range of uh, tools here you can uh, use. You can have here like the crackers to crack accounts and passwords and stuff like that. Uh, you got brute force. It's used for the same stuff, but I don't know why there's nothing coming out. You could uh, do backdoors, um, exploitation here goes you know it's everything like exploits on websites and stuff like that so yeah well um, this is going to be the end of this uh, tutorial and I hope you I mean I hope this helped because yes some people tend to get confused in the installation part and stuff like that so uh, yeah and I'll also try to make a tutorial on how to install Kali Linux and a tutorial inside Kali Linux on how to use SQL map and some of the uh, different tools that are provided in Kali Linux, which everyone can access. And uh, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. And uh, I'll see you in my uh, next tutorial. Peace.